War Duke was great, so he's got to be great too, right? Let's go. Geeks was popping. NECA Toys, Dungeons & Dragons, Strongheart Ultimate Action Figure. The War Duke that got released last year was one of my favorite figures of the year. So when I saw this, I had to pick it up. And in package, I'm already impressed. He comes with six extra hands, a shield, a sword, a sheath, and a mallet. And looks like a soft bits cape. Strongheart is a fearless seeker of justice, risking his life to ensure that good triumphs over evil. He is thoughtful, kind, and seldom rash, yet never hesitant to punish those who spit in the face of law and order. Strongheart doesn't worship a god, but devotes himself to an ideal, that the world can be spared from evil by those who have enough courage to stand up against it. He prefers to fight with his trusty sword steel, and aims to capture and imprison evildoers, slaying them only if they cannot be apprehended. Voice. Zarek, evil half-orc assassin. Gotta get him. Comes with a nice backdrop insert. All right, shield, multiple gripping hands, open palm hand, dagger, sword, sheath, mallet. And oh, the sheath looks like it does. It has a built-in mini sheath for the dagger. That is dope. We see you, Strongheart. We see you. Head sculpt is on point. Love that feather plume. They sculpted individual feathers. His helmet face mask does come down. The paint on his armor is absolutely lovely. The silver spray finish with the black wash makes it look like real metal. Chainmail mesh between the armor. On his gauntlets, he's got buckles. The buckles are painted silver. The background leather is blue and black with a wash. Belt looks like real leather with a nice silver belt buckle. Detail continues here. And you can see that there's a silver spray as it goes down. It starts out blue and then it becomes more silver as it gets towards the bottom. He's got a loop here. I think that is where you put his mallet. And I think the best thing about him is his knee armor. I think if NECA has one true weakness, it's his knee joints. And this covers him up. The boots, you can see they're blue and black and worn. They got a nice wash on them, so it looks like real leather. Soft, good capes, looking really good. Love this face sculpt. You get a full 360 on the head. Tilt left, tilt right. Great range looking down. Range down is good looking up. Arm to get a VA high. Hug range is pretty wide. He's been cleared by HR. Wingspan is better than I thought it would be. A little bit further back than being parallel. It's a little bit farther than being, it's a little bit farther than being parallel with the back. I don't know if you can tell here. Shoulder armor does lift up here. So you can get a 360 spin on the arm. Ooh, but be careful there, it's getting caught up a little bit. Looks like he has a bicep swivel, but hold on, let's see. Yeah, he has a bicep swivel. It's just the shoulders going with it, so he's got to play with it to get it around. He has a 360 at that single joint elbow, nothing at the forearm. He does get a 360 at the wrist. He does get that flick of the wrist action. He's got a kiss the ring and a repulsive blast. Single joint elbows give you a little bit less than 90 degrees. Sitting on an upper torso rocker. Top, we'll give you 360. It's tough. And, oh, he's got a chain here that I just popped. Or did I? Yeah, I did. Shit. Okay, don't do the 360. You can lead with it and rock with it. You can get 360 at the waist, but also don't because it'll chain, it'll pop those chains. Up under the skirt, what do we got? There's no thigh cut. You do have a boot cut. And oh, you get a three, you get a 360. There's no thigh cut. Look under the skirt, there's no thigh cut there. You can't get a 360 at the knee. And you get a 360 at the upper calf. You get a 360 on his foot. He's on a ball joint, so you can get all kinds of crazy angles there. Split range. Not much in the way of bad damage. Bend over range is all right. He can kick in a door. Knees are double jointed. He doesn't get close to kicking his own butt. He does okay. He gets decent toe range too. 
And just FYI, it's not for the mallet, it's for his sheet. I looked at the box. Hasbro used a similar design for the shield for um, Super Daptoid, I believe it was. Don't like it. It's too tight, and once that peg comes out, it doesn't want to stay. Build a better mouse trap, somebody needs to build a better toy shield strap design. All right, let's get big. In the top! The top of his helmet, he's seven and a quarter inches. To the top of the plume, he's right under eight inches. Wing tips, seven and a half inches. All right, so my apologies. My intention was to compare him to War Duke, but I forgot. I had a pipe burst in my house last week and I had to move a bunch of stuff down here in the basement. I cannot get to War Duke because the case he's in is surrounded by furniture. So you're gonna have to use your imagination. I'm just messing. <laughs> I'm just joking around. Uh, but yeah, this is spectacular. Uh, aside from the fact that I ripped his chain, I think he's absolutely perfect. He just looks phenomenal. For NECA's price point to only be a few dollars more than Hasbro, and you get this kind of quality, man, and I know the license plays a part. I would gladly pay 30 to $32 for Marvel Legends that look like this. It's just incredible. But let me not start bashing Hasbro. It's all about NECA and NECA. Mwah, wonderful job. If you agree or disagree, sound off in the comments. See how I got you there. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications. Share a link with a load. Share a link with a friend that loves the plastic NECA figures like we do. Jump in our Facebook group if you haven't already done so, where we chat the plastic 24-7. Thanks for tuning in. Till next time, geek out.